Welcome to Nine News. The families of Flight 370 are making a sad journey to Perth tonight. They're due to start arriving in the early hours of tomorrow morning after Malaysia declared that there was no hope of survival. Here are the key points. The Malaysian Prime Minister told the world that all evidence pointed to the jet crashing in the southern Indian Ocean. The evidence includes satellite tracking from British space engineers. So far, no wreckage has been recovered, despite spot sightings of what could be debris. The air and sea search was suspended today because of bad weather. Alice Pooley, the first arrivals are expected here soon. Tim, that's right. The first relatives are expected to arrive here early tomorrow morning. As you said, it's an incredibly sad journey for them. They come here in grief to be as close as they can to the search zone in the last place where flight MH370 is thought to have gone down, even though it's over 2,000 kilometres from here. Now, Malaysia Airlines has over 700 support workers for these family members. It's thought a large portion of them will also be making the journey here to Perth. Our Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, has thrown his and the country's support behind these men, women and children. He's offered to fast-track their visa applications and waive the fee. I understand that the loved ones of those on that plane uh, may well wish to come to Australia in coming days and weeks. They will find a welcoming country uh, that is uh, more than willing to embrace them in this very difficult time. Now it's understood the family members will also be taken on a tour of the search zone if they wish to do so and when the mission resumes. Tim. Alice, thank you. And for those families, the awful reality came last night, 17 days after Flight 370 vanished from radar screens. The message from Malaysia's Prime Minister, there is no hope. China has been hardest hit, 153 victims, and the reaction in Beijing was a mixture of distress <laughs> and anger. It was completely understandable. This woman lost three members of her family, her son, his wife and her grandchild. I beg you, she cries, it can't be like this. For some, the news they'd long dreaded had come via a text. Malaysian Airlines deeply regrets that we have to assume beyond any reasonable doubt that MH370 has been lost, it said. Hand in hand and a nod between them, a son and a sister of Rod and Mary Burroughs bravely agree to share their grief. Our family is trying to come to terms with this terrible tragedy. We dearly love and we'll miss our mum and dad. The Brisbane grandparents were travelling with best friends Bob and Cathy Lawton. It was meant to be a dream holiday to China. But where it actually crashed and why still remains a mystery. One of Britain's most reputable newspapers, the Daily Telegraph, today claimed it was an apparent suicide mission. But Malaysian investigators insist the focus is moving towards mechanical failure or a fire on board. I don't want to speculate in terms of what happened to the aircraft. I think the investigation is ongoing. OK, I think our focus is really for the family members. But the airline is in crisis. Calls for the CEO to be sacked are getting louder. And still so many questions about the hunt for the aircraft. Despite solid evidence the plane had 